Hello YouTube, it is a very beautiful Thursday afternoon in the English countryside, the 17th of February 2022, and this took the 40, 45 mile an hour winds like a champ yesterday, like an absolute champ. But tomorrow, Friday the 18th of February 2022, will bring even greater winds. So what I need to do is I need to take the turbine down and make some certain changes to it, because it's not moving into the wind correctly, uh, we can sort that out and that's the reason it's not starting up easily. Also the chain needs tightening and so I need to do some stuff to the tower so we'll crack on with that and when tomorrow comes 75 mile an hour winds. I've only ever seen 55 on the weather channel so we could be in some serious action. Firstly I just want to talk about the tower and the pros and cons of having your own tower. Hello Milfred. Good girl. Uh, we have a post concreted into the ground then we have an old-fashioned a uh, two-ton winch. I uh, got that off eBay years and years ago. I, I grease it up every now and then. Then we have the cable. Which has a pivot point here, which isn't good enough. I'll explain to you why. The tower needs a anchor point somewhere here in the ground. So the cable goes to the gin pole, which acts as like a lever. And it's important to realise the gin the gin pole can't be joined to the tower, it has to be separate. That shows you a pretty good view of how I've got it. Cable is in there that brings the power from the turbine. So this is the bottom end of the gin pole, which you can see has three guide ropes which go up to the front of the tower. We've got on the side three guide ropes. It has 12 guide ropes in total, which what is what makes it so strong. Uh, the downside of the tower is that I made it in an extreme hurry and it's not accurate at all. So the these things aren't in the exact place they should be. So what that means is when I put the tower up, I have to slacken off these on one side to stop it over tightening. And then when it comes back up, they have to be tightened. It is a bit of a pain in the ass, but it's super solid, this thing. It was made from uh, scrap tubing I got very cheaply. So the good thing about the tower is how solid it is and the amount of money it costs to make. The bad thing is it's not very accurate. That's the simplest way I can describe it. I did weld some bolts on to act as steps, but I'm a bit too old to be climbing up those steps. Yeah, everything on the tower is homemade. Uh, you can see up the top, there's a bracket which holds the four top guy wires on. I'll show you that when it comes down. But that's a good view to show you what I mean about the offset blades and how they're used to pull the turbine into the wind. It does need further work to make it proper, but that is my idea. You can see there the front set, very close to the front of the turbine, about an inch off, and then the back, you have about 18 inches off the back of the turbine. Let's get this thing down. First thing I'm gonna do is put all my dogs away because if that tower landed on one of them, they'd be a dog meat. Milfreds, Milfreds. So I just need to lo loosen off these three bad boys so that it can take the tower down. Wasting a brake on, really. Give me a minute. Stumpy thing. There you go, just slowly do that. That's it. If I tell you to stop, stop, All right? Right, that's it. Whoa, yeah, that's good. I'm doing is I'm keeping an eye on these cables so they're not getting too tight. Here we have Elon's leg, my little landing platform which we shall see in perfect glory coming down. Whoa! Shit! <laughs> 